Lydia Shelley from Best Buy's blog. This week I've been taking a look at the National Geographic Microscope. The National Geographic Microscope comes in a kit with everything that you see here, and it is a 40 times to 1600 times magnification microscope. It's a very sturdy microscope, so it's not easy to knock over. There are multiple different features on this microscope, including a color dial to change the color of the slide, the light underneath the slide. The clips will hold the slide in, and uh, that's it, so it's very secure. There's a dial to turn the light off and on, or to switch up the way that the light works, so it can either come from the top or the bottom. And there's an adjustable magnification bed so that you can zoom in um, up or down depending on whether or not you're looking at a flat slide or if you want to just look at something that's a little bulkier you can still move that bed up and down and take a look at whatever it is you'd like. The National Geographic microscope includes several slides that are already pre-made so that you can familiarize yourself with the microscope and it's actually a lot of fun to look at these. We really spent a lot of time looking at the leg of a housefly and it's just so completely different from what you would expect so it was really interesting. I was most excited about seeing the brine shrimp eggs underneath the microscope and when I was growing up older comic books would have advertisements for sea monkeys which are technically brine shrimp eggs and there's a hatchery included with the National Geographic microscope so you can put a bunch of eggs in and then kind of watch over it and then when they hatch you can look at them under the microscope. I have not been successful in hatching any brine shrimp eggs yet but I'm going to keep trying. Once we worked our way through the slides, we started pulling stuff out of the yard to take a look at under the National Geographic microscope. And one of the more interesting things that we saw was a dead honeybee. So I have a few honeybee hives and there was a bunch of bees in one hive that died due to the cold this winter. So we placed it underneath the microscope. We didn't have to create an actual slide by slicing, although there is a tool included that you can use to do that. But we just took a look at it as it was and it was really interesting. There is a smartphone adapter included with the National Geographic microscope and I really do think that this is the best feature on this microscope. It is so cool to put your phone on top of the microscope and take a look at what's inside or underneath the slide and then everybody that's in the room with you can see it at the same time. This is the fly leg that I mentioned uh, that's included in one of the prepackaged slides and you can zoom in with your phone, you can record, you can take photos and it's just a really neat way of seeing everything from a, just a completely different perspective. There are a lot of different tools included with the National Geographic microscope that you can use to create your own slides. As I mentioned, there's a slicing tool as well as different lenses. There's some blank slides. There's a syringe that you can use to um, pull up water or any other liquids and place them on your slides. There is also a scalpel and a needle so that you can get fine samples if you need them. The best way to learn how to use the National Geographic microscope is just to start using it. You can adjust the bed, you can change the magnification, you can change the light, and then you can just tap on that smartphone adapter and you can zoom in on all of the things that you're looking at. So we've looked at everything from feathers to the dirt in the yard to the pond water and uh, at the brine shrimp eggs that as I mentioned and also the honeybee and everything has been really interesting to look at. When you're finished viewing samples, you can just pack everything back up in the included carrying case and you can take it with you wherever you go. All it takes are three AA batteries and you can begin using the National Geographic microscope. And the only thing that I would recommend is maybe weighing it down a little bit, especially if you're using the smartphone adapter because it can shake a little if someone jars the table or whatever surface you're working on. I know microscopes are educational, but for me, they're a lot of fun too. There was no end to the amount of stuff that I could put under this microscope and take a look at. And it's nice to share a different perspective of the things that you see every day. That's it for my look at the National Geographic Microscope. You can see my full written review as well as other photos on Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching.